The National River, River Hall of Fame was founded in 1980. It's a national organization that is part of the Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium in Dubuque, Iowa. We are a Smithsonian affiliate uh, located on the Mississippi River. Since 1980, the National Rivers Hall of Fame has told the stories and preserved the history of American river people. Our highest award is, to a living person is a national, uh, is, an, is a, uh, na a lifetime achievement award. And it's a real privilege this evening to present this award to Ralph Fries. Ralph Fries uh, was involved with the National Rivers Hall of Fame from its inception. In 1973, Ralph reenacted the voyage of uh, Marquette and Joliet, who discovered the Mississippi River on June 17, 1673. In 1980, the National Rivers Hall of Fame inducted Marquette and Joliet, and uh, Ralph was present for that ceremony. Ralph, as you well know, is a fourth generation blacksmith from the Chicago area. He is a well-known naturalist, a canoeist, a protector, and a lover of the waterways of the Midwest. And so it's with great honor that we present him an award this evening. I would like to have Ginger uh, share, and I'd like to share this with Ralph and Rita. And the inscription is National Rivers Hall of Fame, Dubuque, Iowa, National Achievement Award, presented to Ralph Fries. And the uh, quotation is, by directing one's course, a man may see all that is to be seen, Samuel D. Champlain, 1603, Chicago Maritime Festival, Chicago, Illinois, February 27, uh, 2010. Congratulations, Ralph. And Ralph, as a National uh, Achievement Award winner, we also have a lapel medallion for you to commemorate uh, this award. Thank you. Thank you. So this, this really is an honor. I, I, it's hard to believe I'm getting this. I had the honor of inducting the names of Joliet and Marquette in the first Hall of Fame ceremony, which was beautifully conducted in a restored theater in Dubuque. I was at the podium talking about the accomplishments of Joliet and Marquette, and over my head on a screen they were flashing pictures of the river and of the reenactment. Behind a black curtain behind me was an orchestra playing appropriate river music. It was a ceremony they put together worthy of an, being an Oscar ceremony. And the memory of that day and that honor of being able to induct the first two names and the honor of knowing John's father who conceived the idea of a Hall of Fame honoring the men and rivers connected with our nation's waterways. It's it, it just overwhelming. The memories, uh, the pictures I have, the mental images. John, I am so emotionally involved with your museum from day one. I should mention that the state of Iowa was one of the great supporters of our reenactment uh, the 300th anniversary of the Joliet exploration of the Mississippi. Iowa had a boat, one of their IDNR boats, uh, running along the river with us for support. They had a shore vehicle for us. 
They were so much support that I donated one of the two canoes that we used uh, to the state of Iowa, and that is on display at the National Mississippi River Museum now. And I'm proud to have a piece of my handiwork in that museum, representing that phase of our country's history. John, thank you so much. And your land's in 